Welcome to my channel, The King Lee Way. My name is King, and today I'm going to talk about 90 Day Fiance the Other Way. And the couple that I'm going to talk about is Ji Hoon and Devin. And before I start on that, please hit the like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for future videos. Now, Let's get to it. I'm going to give a review of season one of Ji Hoon and Devin. And I'm going to break down a little bit background before I give a more uh, candid review about the couple. So let's start with Ji Hoon. Ji Hoon is from Seoul, South Korea. And apparently he, is, he works as a delivery guy. Korean is called the Bedar guy, the delivery, Bedar. And Devin is from Utah in the US. So she has a daughter, a Drisella. And she is really young at the age of 22, but currently she's 23. And Ji Hoon is now 30. So let's see. How did these two? meet. So Ji Hoon discovered an app called, wait for it, Tinder. Swipe left, swipe right. And yes, and he discovered Devin on Tinder. And he picked, he liked Devin and they became a super match. And now Devin, who was on Tinder, she didn't want to date Western guys anymore, so she wanted to go with mostly Korean guys. So, okay. And they became a super match. So now, since they've been chatting on Tinder or on Skype, next thing, Ji Hoon takes a flight to see Devin. And I think they meet in Las Vegas. So first night they have wine, they have fun, get together, and then they spend three months together. Next thing you know, before Ji Hoon is leaving back for South Korea, she is pregnant. So this is Ji Hoon's first child, and this will be Devin's second child. And it turns out to be a son, so I'm gonna really kill it. The spoiler alert, and the son's name is Young. So, let's see, the first time, uh, Devin goes to South Korea to visit Ji Hoon for seven days to get to know the family and she felt like it didn't go too well. So, don't know. The next thing is she wanted to make a good impression on the family and Ji Hoon, the mom and the dad came and met uh, Devin in Las Vegas and she booked a nice home for them. So, it's like a whole week trip and Drisella was there. Of course, the impression didn't look good at the airport where, you know, Drizilla was going crazy in the airport and she started to break down and cry. So, but they went to the house. They were happy. It was a nice house, nice big American house. It's about three bedrooms. So it was a pretty good start. Of course, the next morning she wanted to cook an American breakfast, of course, they're not used to it. And then they're eating the bacon raw, the, the dad, and it's not even cooked all the way. They're supposed to be crispy, you know, with bacon. So she, so she wanted a good, she was like, no. And then Drizella was hungry. So she, that didn't kind of, that didn't look too good. But what they did is they kind of went out and about to show Las Vegas, show a good time and a fun adventure. You know, and Devin was friendly, but of course the parents, there's a lot of language barrier because, you know, they speak Korean. And Ji Hoon, you know, his level of English is just more like maybe close to intermediate, not extremely advanced. So they do their best. And sometimes the hard conversation, they have to use a translator, the smartphone Google Translate to speak. And then they have those little cool translator things now. <laughs> so yeah. So they, the trip goes, trip is okay. 
then eventually the hard uh, question comes like uh, we would like to get married Devin asked the parents and say hey we would like to get married you know we want your blessing and of course the dad said yeah we give you a blessing your mom give you a blessing so they were happy so she was relieved so I think you know it wasn't gonna be an issue at all they were probably happy uh, you know Jihoon found a woman you know because it's really hard for you know to date in Korea and it's even hard to date in America too but especially in Korea where the standards that most Korean women have for a Korean husband he's got to have a, a, a nice job and a three-bedroom apartment must be provided if you don't have that she ain't gonna marry you in Korea that's the thing so yeah and then they have a child on the way of course the Ji Hoon and mom and dad head back to Korea. So she ends up, of course, um, having the kid without Ji uh, Hoon present there. He was in Korea because he booked a plane ticket and she told him not to book the plane ticket. But he did, so he had to watch through Skype or some platform. Uh, labor that Devin had to go through alone so he was kind of crying a little but you know she strictly told him you know not to book the plane ticket so you know for crying out loud she wouldn't listen to your woman <laughs> but yeah so that happened so it happened and what happened next is uh, Devin brought Taya to Korea but she left Drusilla back home because she wanted to make sure it's a safe environment to go to uh, Korea. So Devin comes to Korea and of course she asked Ji Hoon to have the house ready, to have everything ready, to have the finances ready. But apparently when she gets there, they're stuck staying with um, his parents crowded and she wants her own place especially if you have a little newborn child Taeyeon there and of course she had no clue how a Korean uh, household bathroom works because there is no shower curtain it's not a western style bathroom and usually when you go to a Korean bathroom water goes all over the place and then the other fun part is the beaded the bidet uh, to uh, toilet where it's you don't even need a uh, toilet paper you you can when you do a number two sorry TMI the water cleans or you know what and then you air it out so that's the technology it's like yeah we're 21st century people is what uh, Jean said but on that note, yeah, she didn't really know what was going on. She was dependent on Ji Hoon, and he really didn't take care of business at all, which is really sad because, you know, Korea is his backyard. And, you know, I'm, I'm a Korean American, you know. All I know is America, American household, American culture. And, you know, when I first came to Korea, a lot of things were still a shock to me, too, you know, but I figured it out and made sure I was on top of things. So things weren't too hard after that. But if I was in his shoes, yeah, I would have been like, okay, I'm gonna have this place and this place needs to be kid friendly. If I had like, you know, my girlfriend or wife, you know, was, uh, we had a kid, you know, in that same situation. But of course I would try to be better prepared than that, but that's too on. And, you know, I, I want this thing to work for Ji Hoon and Devin. You know, and it was really sad to see that, you know, that he wasn't too responsible in taking care of business. But then they have a conversation and he finally tells them, yeah, I did something illegal by selling um, phones. So there's this term called Chungu phone, Chungu Chanas, you know, Chungu means Chinese. So I was, I was kind of thrown off when I first came to Korea. I'm like, what? Chinese phones? Chinese what? It's just a term they use for cheap items. Like, I'll get you a Chungu Chana, Chungu, Chungu smartphone. Chungu Cha means Cha means car. And it could even mean tea, but car. So I'll get, you can buy a cheap car, you know? So they use the word Chungu, you know? It's like, are you talking about Chinese people? What the heck? <laughs> but that's not what it means, you know, technically. So just if you ever hear that term, you know, 
중국. <웃음> 야, 저 깨미, 에이, 아니, 저 중국 전화. 중국 전화 좀 사주세요. Buy me a cheap phone, you know, get me a cheap phone. So that's a term they use. So, yeah, it's really sad. And of course, uh, Drizella does arrive with uh, Devin's parents to Korea. She ended up getting the place, not Ji Hoon. It was really sad. And the place was a mess. The neighborhood was a mess. You know, you know it's like, come on, Ji Hoon, man. You're a father. You got to be responsible. You know, come on, step up. You know, but, you know,、uh, I'm not trying to be too hard on them because, you know, I was young and stupid too, young and irresponsible. So, you know, and I made mistakes too. So, you know, I don't want to judge him that hard. I, I think he can turn it around. I'm very optimistic about Ji Hoon, you know, that he can turn it around and grow up, you know. So, I'm very positive about this relationship. So, yes. And of course, due to, due to the pandemic,、uh, Devin did go back because I do follow their YouTube channel. So, I kind of see what's going on, you know, besides the show, you know, 90 Day Fiance. So, oh, and once they got to Korea, they did a wedding. <laughs> They did do a wedding, a traditional Korean wedding, where they wear hum, hanbok、uh, clothing, the hanbok traditional dresses. So, those are the type of weddings you have in Korea. And you have two types of weddings. You could have the regular traditional Korean with the hanbok dress and the hanbok clothes, or the, the tux and the white dress, you know, just like in America. So, the good thing about Korean weddings, weddings are so short, it's, it's like a shotgun ready. In and out. Yeah, just go. Two, three hours, done. So that's a good thing. Weddings are not long in Korea compared to the US, where that thing could go from morning to night. <laughs> so if you're, so,、uh, so most guys love Korean weddings. We're like in and out of there. We're not there all day. <laughs> and it's not that tiring either. It's not too exhausting. So that's one of the good things. So they made their best. And I hope, you know, for Taeyeon, Drizella, You know, Drizella can maybe pick up a lot of Korean. She's still, you know, at the age where she can still absorb a lot of stuff. Sooner or later, she might be telling her dad, Appa, Appa, because that's the term in Korean, Appa. So, yeah, I think it could be a good thing for Drizella. Plus, Korean kids would love it because here's the thing when I teach English in Korea, a lot of young Korean kids don't see foreigners. So, If they have a little a foreign kid next to them, you know, they're like on cloud nine at times, you know, because they don't deal with us foreigners、um, unless we're the English teachers. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's their exposure. Basically, why, why is there English jobs in Korea? Because we're there for show, technically. But that's another video to talk about. Now, I want to end this with um, this. Uh, Taeyeon, who is now, you know, who is now a half Korean,、uh, half American, I hope they register him in the family registry because, by, technically, by law, or as a Korean national, you're supposed to register him in the family registry. So, by the time, this is a mood point, but I'm going to say it anyways, by the time he's 19, because you have, an, you have an international age, which is your current age, and Korean age, which is a year older, which I hate Korean age. I don't even ever refer myself by Korean age. This is the problem. He has to make a decision. Does he go with the green Korean passport and do two years in the army, or now 21 months, or take the blue passport and be an American citizen and avoid conscription in a Uh, military for South Korea. So, but that's a moot point. They'll reach that point in 18 years from now. So, I want to end this with the tell all. And of course, there was a question like, you know, is that really Chi Hoon's kid? And she goes, yeah, it is.、Uh, two years is the only guy I've been with. I was like, okay. Well, well plus he does look Korean, but I know she dated Korean men in the past, but I purposely, I believe that. That's their kid. The DNA tests were proven. I would roll the dice and say that's the truth, you know. I don't see any,、uh, you know, deception here. And he, another thing is、uh, this question like, does the parents accept Devin? 
you know, ask their daughter-in-law, and the father says yes. Ji Hoon could convincingly say yes by the father, but he doesn't believe the mother wanted him to marry a Korean woman, which, which the other members of the cast were, what, what, what? Me, I was not surprised at all. Because, why? Because Korea is such a homogenous country. You know, they want you to kind of marry your own. Me growing up, or you're supposed to marry Korean and keep it Korean, but no, I don't know. Because, you know, I have, I have currently a Filipino girlfriend, and if we get married, yeah, I'm gonna be changing something. The family tree's gonna change, and I have no qualms about it, and I think my family will accept that. Because so far, everyone in my family is married to Korean. So I might be the first one to break it and have uh, another nationality into the family, which, you know, I have no qualms about it, no issues about it. And I don't think my family has any issues about it at all either. That's one thing I did tell my girlfriend if we get to that point. But yeah, and all else, I was not surprised by the answer. So that su didn't surprise me at all. But I really think in the future, because we have such a low birth rate in Korea, things are changing in Korea. It has to change because it doesn't, this country is going to get in some serious trouble. And I don't want to get into a, a rant about the issues in Korea because there's issues everywhere in the world. But yeah, it's, you know, it's going to change because that's the only direction it has to go for it. And with the new generation of Koreans that does, that finally decides to break away from this health chosan, you know, it, it, things are gonna change up real soon, you know, or not real soon, but hopefully another generation or, or real, let's see, in my opinion, not fast enough. But the thing is that I am pulling for this couple. I'm not against this couple. I'm just against that Ji Hoon need didn't step up and I hope he steps up and I think he will. I'm a little more optimistic than I was about, you know, no neck Ed, because he was an idiot. But other than that, I'm pulling for this couple and I'm gonna be following them in season two and their YouTube channel and see what happens. And I hope it works out for the for the both sides of the families and hope they raise, you know, two good kids and they can make a good life for themselves. All right, so if you, any of you enjoyed any of this content, please hit that like and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for notifications in my future videos. So I just want to tell you wherever you are, be safe and have a good day. Bye.